Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Brix PLC Increment Decrement 512 registers for the DMX 512 protocol. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So I had a question from Justin and he asked, I was wondering if there's an easy way to increment and decrement a range of values. Example, I have a range of registers V100 to V611. The values in each register are different. But I want to increment and decrement all the register values by one at a time so that the ramp rate is the same. Is that possible without doing six runs of logic for each register? And you can see with six rungs of logic for each of those 512 registers, um, it would be very difficult and very long program. To elaborate a little on my case, 512 registers was chosen because this equals one DMX universe. So my scaling factor is 0 to 255, which is what the each of the registers in the DMX uh, protocol will allow you to have is 0 to 255, which is equals 0 to FF hex. Now 16 channels are mapped to BX-08DA-2B modules to control 0 to 10 fixtures. All other channels are mapped to uh, SERIO, serial IO module, which is the, the uh, BX uh, module to control BMX or DMX 512 fixtures and other devices. Justin. So let's take a look at the, um, the actual program to do this. And what you want to do is we're going to do this with indirect addressing and the for next loop. So just to give you a recap now, um, DMX 512 is a protocol and it uses, this is a serial communication that use, that's used with the BX dash, uh, serial IO expansion module. Also in the, uh, this is actually a stage lighting control protocol that allows the, um, bricks platform to easily send and receive commands to most DMX 512 devices and controllers. Now each network on the DMX 512 is actually called a universe, just as Justin explained. So the uh, DMX 512 is commonly used for control stage lighting, dimmers, special effects, such as the fog machines and in, um, intelligent lights. And DMX can also be used to control non-theoretical -theor um, interior and architectural lighting, as well as electronic billboards. So there's a, uh, quite a few uses for this protocol. And it is a one-way protocol. We just send out the information. There is no uh, receiving information and there is no error checking on this uh, protocol itself. So let's take a look. We're going to change 512 registers at a time. And the first thing we're going to do up here, if I look at my program and I'm running the, um, I am running my uh, Do More Designer software. This is version 2.6.2. .2. And I'm going to use some uh, we have a main program and then we have some subroutines. We're going to uh, increment, decrement. We're going to uh, put the maximum to all the words. We're going to reset all the words or zero them out. We're also going to change individual bits or individual registers within those 512 that we select. So we're going to do this all with a very short program. So let's look at our first one here. When X0 is on, we're going to use the one second pulse and every one second it's going to call up subroutine that says increment. So let's go to the increment um, routine and what we'll do here in increment is we'll set up a for next loop and my index here is uh, v0 and what we're doing is we're going from 100 to 611. That specifies my uh, pointer for my indirect addressing. So we're going to be filling up V100 to V611, so the 512 registers, and we're going to step by one. So each one we're going to do, we're going to increment, and that increment is actually, we're going to increment V, so it's a, uh, in the V area, and it's going to be V0. 
and you'll see my index is actually v0 so it's going to point my for next loop points to where my value is that I'm looking for from v100 to v611 and then what we do is we compare this because we're incrementing we can't go above 255 so if that same value is greater than 255 we move 255 back into that so it maxes that out then we do a next step. So this continuously loops through as I go through and you will see that it will do uh, 512 times through this loop before it returns back to our main program. So go back to main program. So that is my increment. Then we have my decrement right here, which comes off XL, X1. So once I hit X1, again, I have the one second pulse flag and it's calling up the decrement flag. So in my decrement, let's take a look at it. And again, I set up some, uh, my for next loop again on V0. And we're going to go from again, 100 to 611, which indicates or acts as my pointer. And we have it by step one. Then each time we go in through, we actually decrement or decrease it by one using the DEC instruction. And again, we have our V area and it's pointed to by V0. And V0 goes from 100 to 611, so my 512 registers that I'm changing. And again, in this case, when I go below zero, it goes to the maximum of that uh, mount in that register, which will be greater than uh, 255. And when I do that, I look at my condition of that register. And if it, it goes above that, then I put zero back into that destination. So if I try to decrement below zero, it will actually keep it at zero for me in that register. And you'll see my next step here. So it continuously loops through until we do the 512 and then we return back to our main program. Our next one here is our max words. So on the leading edge of X2, we call up our max all words. And looking at it again, we have the same type of uh, scenario with our for next loop on V0. We're going from 100 to 611, 512 registers. We actually now move the value 255 into the indirectly into the V0, which is our pointer in our, in our V area. This loops through 512 times and then returns back. So we set them all to the max level that we can have. So returning back to our main, and then we can have a reset all words. And the reset all word, um, again, will go off of uh, X3. So on the reset, what we do is we're just like the, the max, we are actually setting all of the registers now to zero. So we actually move zero into all of the registers for the 512 steps. And then we turn back. Then if we look at the main, sometimes what we'll do is if we want to change an individual um, um, address itself, putting in 512 different um, registers would be very time consuming, especially on a, an HMI or touchscreen that we actually try to control. So here, what I'm doing is I'm going to scale a couple of slider inputs that go from zero to 495 and we're going to scale it to 100 to 612. That represents which register I want to change in my uh, DMX universe or my um, my circuit. And then my output, um, I want to, uh, so right here, I change it and I put my output as V1, which is address 100 right now. So that will point to which register I want to change. And then I do another scaling factor for WX1, which tells me what value I want to put in. So here, again, I go from zero to 4,095 and it changes the output from zero to 255, which is the range at which I want to put in each register. And currently right now, V2 is at zero. Then when we hit X7, 
what I want to do is take my V2, which is my value I want to change. I'm going to put it into um, a, the V area pointed to by V1, which indicates which register that I want to actually place that value in. So this will be allow, allow me to set any of the 512 registers individually. So let's uh, call up our do more simulator. And here it is right here. And you will see that, uh, let's just move this over a little bit. And we have our some of our V100 um, areas here. And you can see it goes all the way down. There we go. And what we'll do is on our simulator, we will actually turn on X0. And when we do, what we should do is start seeing the incrementing every second in which it, exactly what we expected to happen. If we turn X0 off, it will actually stop. Decrementing, we can decrement um, that once we turn on X1. So you can see it's decrementing and it will not go past zero because we have those conditions set. X2 will set everything to 500, 255, which is the maximum, which is exactly what it does. And X3, will then reset everything. So let's do X2 and then we can actually um, then try to increment and you'll see that we cannot increment. Let's uh, decrement and you can see that we can now go down and, dec and decrement. Increment again just to make sure that that testing actually works and sure enough it does. We cannot go past 255. The next part of our program allowed us to set individual bits so if we um, let's just uh, move this down a little bit more and just look at these three registers and you can see here there's my WX0 uh, then let's go down here to where my uh, scaling is here we go So if I look at my scaling, I can see that this goes from 0 to 4095, which then represents my 611 here and down to 100 here. So let's just go to um, something that we can see on here. Let's go 102. So then we'll just uh, lower that down. There's 102 there. So that's pointing to 102 right now. And this is my value I want to put in. You can see as I go right up to the full scale, 4,095, it goes to 255, which is the maximum. So let's put it around here. That looks like 119. So as soon as I hit seven, it will actually transfer that into this value here. And sure enough, there's 119. If again, if I then uh, try to increment, okay, it's gonna increment this, but it cannot increment the others. And then if I were to decrement, we're going to decrement these, but not the others. So we'll set them individually. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you subscribe to the to get the new videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.